Why, hello, I'm Maris. This is Game Request. This is Dwarfheim. Do want to thank the devs for giving me a copy of this to check out. We're going to be taking a look um, at the tutorial. I'm going to pick the Warriors. That should be fun. I'm playing this like four, four days before this comes out, so the multiplayer is not up right now, nor is the single player, since it's very, very... a couple days early. Um... No falling back in our okay. But this should give us a good idea what's going on. The premise of this game is that it's an online RTS, so I am the warrior right now. So going into a game, this would be my function, what I'm about to do here. There's a mining class that deals with just mining all the ore, building the machines that process it, things like that. Then there's another class, which is eluding me right now, why I can't think of them, that is, hold on. Yeah, I can't think of what the other class is, but it's the same thing. So you would be taking one of those classes in a PvP environment and enacting this against another team of three people doing the same thing. One person focusing on the words. It's kind of a cool so concept. So let's let's check this out. I checked the miners out a little bit, but I figured let's do the warriors for this. This should be a bit more butt whooping. Um, so let's see here. Obviously, offensive combat and unit control. No gathering units or buildings, but can kill creeps for resources and must rely on its team to build the necessary buildings. Okay. Mercenary. That's fine. Purpose. Okay. Okay, so here's the first thing. We're in the overworld. Let's get down here. That guy owes me money. Oh, that guy owes me money. They always sound so Scottish. <laughs> okay. All right, so here we go. We have the Arbalist and the Shield Bearer. Those are basic. Arbalist is a ranged unit. Um, shield Bearer is exactly what it says. It's the Shield Bearer. And then you can see here we have Troll Camps and Resources. So Creeps, a good warrior, will not only defend their clan... All right, so creeps seem to be the low-level people. Gold trolls. Large amounts of resources when killed. Oh, let's do it. So let's go underground here. Get my guys up. You're the boss. I am the boss. So it's right here. Attacking. I want a golden golden, uh, troll. These guys need some armor. Train two shield bearers at the Already newly built with. barracks. Is that... Yes, okay. Shield bearers. Okay. And as you can see, we've got farms, taverns, things like that. It's definitely rts -y, if that makes sense. Like, you get what I'm saying. Just crafting along. Let's sip some tea out of my lovely Jack Skellington cup that's been making an I'll appearance practically you. every video. Because I drink so much coffee and tea, it's not even funny. The bigger the cup, the better. Alright, our second one should be coming. The music's been fun. It's, it's you know, been light, airy. Nothing will get through me. Okay, technology and upgrading units. Where training technology can be done at the different military buildings, such as the barracks and the pit. The pit. Oh, that sounds great. In addition to pure technology buildings like the blacksmith. Okay. Mercenary upgrades. By research technology, you can improve the armor penetration stat mercenary and its damage making its decent counter for any armor. All right. Health, it determines if your unit's alive or well, yes. Okay. Um, so you can bring them to a brewmaster or an alehouse to heal them. That's great. See, I didn't see any of this stuff. The miners are completely different to this. So speed determines how quickly, yes, obviously damage. Okay. Attack and power, attack, speed, attack, range. Okay. 
that's fine. Visual. Re that's all the basic stuff. Armor, less damage, duh. Okay. All right, so use the barracks to research the shield breaker technology. So we're going to do that real quick. And then it says use the barracks to train five mercenaries. Oh, I can only do four right now. Okay. We'll give it a minute. And then I have to kill those shield bearers. Use it the upgraded mercenaries. All right, we can handle this. Again, there is waiting in RTSs, but that's fine. Um, if you were in a regular game, I imagine you would be sending some of your people out to look around. Again, you, they were saying that there's going to be trolls and things like that that we need to kill. So you're not going to be sitting around doing this. Obviously, I'm just... But you can see we've got some trees down here. There's a lot going on. Also, I want to point out, up on this corner map, while we wait for these guys to uh, pop out, if you see the little um, steeple-looking, or oh, they almost look like teepees in a sense, or like the triangles with the black entrance as type long thing. As the pay is good. All of those are this guy right here. You can see, I guess it's a triangle archway. Um, you can go down to the under map anywhere through these, and it will put you at Watch the location. We'll just go to the underworld. So let's say we're going to go... This is all black here, but say say we're going to go down to this one. If you go to the underworld now, if you notice on the map, you're also at that one. So you can strategically use that to your advantage, too. We've only got two more mercenaries left. Town hall. These are houses. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let's bring him to the ale house and heal this dude. Yep, Lord look at that. Me out of money, okay? Let's... <laughs> they have some fun artwork and character designs in this game. So I wonder if down the road we can upgrade these to heal faster, because obviously no it's not... Deal, okay? You know. It's not super fast. Yes, already dealt with. That's fine. We'll just wait. Just let this guy heal. I love RTSs. I'm interested to see how this plays out. Like, RTSs... Christ. Uh, since the first one I played... I think the first one I officially played and beat was StarCraft. Um, I got hooked. It was like, er, hook, line, and sinker. That was the end of that. Every RT, Almost every RTS after that, I'm like, oh! Which... Age Empires coming up, so... Look at this. He's almost done. Go, my little friends. Go, my little friends. There you go. I think this one... You want. We still got one healing, yeah. or are they all done? Not a problem. Okay. Alright, so now we have to take these guys out. So we have our upgraded mercs. <laughs> Man, they are ripping that dude apart. Holy shillelagh. Okay. Attack move. Okay, that's fine. Stances. You can also select different stances. Okay. The Skirmisher and the Berserker. The Skirmisher is an armored ranged unit that can be upgraded to permanently deal either siege or AoE damage. That's interesting. The Berserker is a high DPS unit that can leap over walls, and while their health isn't that impressive, their damage output is the highest in the game. That is quite nice. The Iron Hand is the strongest unit in the game, slowly destroying all opposition in his way. The Iron Hand is armored and strong enough to take on a small army <clears throat> by himself. Oh. 
Oh, what is that? Use the pit and select either the berserker or the skirmisher. Use the pit. Look how cool that looks. Uh, that looks really awesome. What a cool design. Um, skirmisher or berserker? I'm going to do skirmisher. How many shield bearers do I have? You know what? Let's Ready heal these go. guys. Because okay, this is about to get messy. We can't upgrade anything in that right now. Wow, that's really cute. Really am enjoying the designs of this. Like, I like... Like, look how cute the barracks is. Oops, 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 sorry. But like this, the little training area. Like, it looks very, very good. They will be dead by dawn. <laughs> yes, on my way. On my way. Can we build a... Can we build a... Oh, we can build a berserker! Oh, goody, goody. Let's do it. Oh, now I'm really excited. Now we're going... Cray, cray. No, how do I cancel that? That's... I don't... I mean... Whatever. We'll just stick it right there. They can come right there, too. Alright, so we yeah. look... Yes, you. Oh, no oh my god, look at this guy. No, I'm okay with bolts. <laughs> look at him. He's got the nice big old bull ring. Tattoos all over himself. Present. Uh, they, they're very, very Scottish in their appearance. Scottish, Irish, Leave all the blue me. whirls. Nothing will get through me. All right. Take him down. Oh, train three advanced units. I did it with two. All right, we'll do one more skirmisher. How about that? They won't get to me. Here, you can heal. I think this green ring is actually the healing range of the alehouse. If so, that's actually pretty nice because strategically, quote unquote, strategically speaking, Effectively, they can be placed all over the town, and when you bring your things in, it would, the town would be covered, period. I shoot to kill. All right, Thanes. Oh, we got Thanes. Okay. They're champions. The strongest and most skilled individuals. Okay. Frid Angel Heart. Having seen too much war and battle, Frid Angel Heart is a fierce and capable warrior, having survived more battles than any other dwarf or man alive. Wielding an old hand cannon said to have been from the ancient Dwarfheim is able to take out whole battalions in an instant. He deals AoE damage. She gets more and more bloodthirsty as she's forced to kill. Oh, I like her. Ravenstone Hand. I like this name, too. A proud and unyielding commander, Ravenstone Hand, has never admitted defeat. Through his bolster and confidence, his raw presence helps protect his allies and rally to his side. He's got a shield and hammer. <laughs> That's funny. He's like, eh? Rune circles are ancient places of power that act important map objects. Okay. Oh, okay. Look at this. We have a contested a contested territory that can be uh, taken from you, or you can win and take it back. Um, claiming a rune circle is done by moving your units to it and holding them on the circle. That's fine. As your camera moves into frame of the rune, the rune circle, a bar becomes visible that indicates who holds it. Okay, so that's pretty pretty straightforward. Holding a rune circle will give you a buff, either increasing your attack power or if holding the large rune circle in the center gives all your units siege damage. I see. Okay. So, what we need to do is this. Ready 
as can be. Oh, we are ready. We've got quite... Look at this dude. He's like... Nyeh. This dude's ready to die. He's like, I can't wait. That's like your typical dwarf. Uh. See, uh, see the pop-up dungeon video if you don't know how brutally Come and get me, chicken. just ridiculous. Yeah. Dwarves want you dead. Like, let, let's not... They want you dead. Half the time they want themselves dead, too. Or at least it seems that way with what they do. Ah, there we go. Check that out. So I wonder if the colors are going to change or anything. Up oh, and look, right here. As I was saying, there's another entrance. Um, let me take a shield bearer down real quick so I can show you. So look at that. How cool is that? Now I know there's going to be mobs down here, so... Don't touch my knee, he says. Alright, let's put him back up. Alright, so we're still... <coughs> Slowly but surely gain in here. <clears throat> now, being that this game is not... I'm playing this early. They may change what this does. Like, there might be special effects while you're taking this over that happens that are not implemented yet. Because, again, this is like a... Oh, there you go. It did change. Victory and defeat. Okay. In conquest and skirmish mode, you will win by defeating the enemy town hall. While in survival and sandbox, there are no victory conditions other than you having to be able to grow your settlement and survive against the challenging wilderness of Agartha. By losing, by losing your town hall... Your clan will be forced to disband and lose their claim on Dwarfheim. Protect your town hall at all costs. So, oh, shoot. We've got... Hi. We've... Hey, 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 hey! Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Come on. Is that guy that guy is throwing bombs? That is what that that individual is doing right now. Um All right. We need All right. My berserker is... There you go. Stop getting stuck on the wall, dude. Let's beat this stuff up and then we'll come into here. No one cheating me out of money, okay? Let's see. What do you need? We're not cheating you out of money. Oh, shoot, they engaged. Okay. Alright, get over there. You also get to work. Yep, they're engaging more people. Alright, let's see if we could just take this out. His axe is thirsty. In case you didn't know that. Send him over. 
How cool is that? This, this, uh, has some potential. So here we go, Warrior Miner Builder. The builders are obviously who builds the towns and everything like that, uses the refined materials that the miners get, and obviously the things that the warriors get from killing mobs to craft stuff and all that good stuff. Really cool concept, though. I'm excited to see this. I'm excited to see it live, especially in a multiplayer. I think it'll be pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool of, uh, you know, things that you can do. Also, you can see here that you've got your friends list right Choose in the lobby. Um, again, builder, the builder, the miner, miner the warrior. warrior. Here is your options, how it said, like, um, sandbox and survival. There's no real, like, end for but conquest and skirmish there is. And then if you look over here, as we're selecting, you can see you can invite friends. You can invite a bunch of friends to go up against in sandbox. There's a lot of things. Builder. Once you have people selected in here, then the map selection opens up. You can change the difficulty. You can do the settings for the game itself. Like, there's a lot going Minor on in warrior. here. Fans Builder. of RTSs and PvP are probably going to like this. I think it's got a lot of, lot of potential. So good job to the devs. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to GamerQuest.tv slash donate, and I will see you on the next video.